All right, we're going to show you how to install the DJ Playlist Maker app. Um, so you're going to get the file. It's going to be a zip file. So here's my zip file here. Basically, you will just click on it. Um, I've already extracted it, but you're going to go ahead and click on Extract All. It's going to extract it um, to the folder where you have it. So I have mine on my desktop. So here is the folder here. So I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to go to my... C drive, so this PC, local disk C, right click and paste. Alright, so we've got the folder here. Click in here. Here is the EXE, so if you click on this, first time you run it, it's going to say Windows protected your PC. Um, this is just because it's a new app and it's not registered yet with Microsoft. So if you see that, go ahead and run anyways. All right, and here is the app. Um, by default, it's going to be in the free version. Uh, if you did pay for the app, you're going to need to go ahead and upgrade. So if you click on the upgrade, um, if you've already gone to the site, you're going to copy this to the clipboard. Uh, you will email us this code, and then we will send back the activation code, which you're going to go ahead and put in here. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to kind of show you how to get started. Uh, right here we've got our target folder, so this is the folder where you've got all your music saved. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for that here. Alright, so this is my main uh, music folder here. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to the top level, and everything underneath, so all these subfolders are going to get added. So everything I got here. All right, and then right here, we're just going to click on Build Update Database. You'll get this message. Go ahead and hit Yes, and this is going to run through. So I have about 13,000 um, in this database. So as you can see, it runs through pretty fast. But I'm going to stop the video here, and then in a secondary video, we'll show you all the features of the app.